standoff in southwest Oklahoma City now stretching nearly 11 hours as deputies work to take a man into custody after serving a warrant on southwest 16th Street. That man and a woman were able to drive off when deputies approached them around noon, leading them on a short chase before circling back to the home and hiding in an RV in the driveway. A short time later, the woman gave herself up and was taken into custody, but the man held out in the RV. Well, after deputies fired tear gas, tear gas canisters into the RV, the man got out, you'll see in a minute, smashed a window of the house right next to it. There, that's happening. Climbed inside the house. This was around 3 o'clock this afternoon, and he's been inside that home ever since. News 4's Ashley Moss is joining us from Southwest 16th Street. And Ashley, we understand deputies just recently pushed everyone back from that scene. Yeah, absolutely. We were actually standing about 40 feet closer than we are now. You can see trucks uh, in the background behind me, but law enforcement asked us to move back for safety reasons. They told us they told us that they were getting ready to go ahead and re-enter the home. So in the last 30 to 45 minutes, they've re-entered the home with several flashbangs, also with gas. They're telling me that they also are methodically using electronics to search the home. And that really leads us to the question that several neighbors have been asking me all night. Why is this taking so long? Well, the sheriff's office told me earlier that's really a question of safety. As you can see behind me, this is still very much an active scene, and they're trying to methodically again search the home, make sure that the officers stay safe, the neighborhood stay safe, and if it's at all possible, even get that suspect out safely. We're going to continue to watch this scene. They're going to continue to keep us updated on what's going on. We'll have more updates for you as soon as we can. Live in Southwest Oklahoma City, Ashley Moss, Oklahoma's News 4. Thank